Hey, hello, hello, help everyone, and welcome back to Tamarack Trail. This is something new, so new in fact that this is in post beta, and I was given access to this by the developers to test it out, try it, and make some videos if I can. I am quite excited about this. The intro was showing the kind of chaos that we can expect, <laughs> and I was thought this is somewhat similar to uh, Slate Aspire in a sense, except with dice. So you know, that will be good. Alright, I'm checking some of the changes as usually, just trying to figure out how things are. Volume scheme play. I like the I think it's it's very nice. Example toggle. Uh, yes. <laughs> so you know, just know this is a beta version of the game, so you know some issues might be in there. But regardless of that, I'm happy to show it to you. So let's start. Hero to the trail. Hmm. Let's go through all of them. I don't think we know what this part. What is the Garmon Posia? But all right. It has a boat on the lab and a strange turtle creature. Increases starting resolve regeneration by one. I have zero crabs out of five. So. I'm, I'm probably not doing any upgrading But you can upgrade the lodge, which I assume will increase your stats during gameplay Oh, I do like this, that you can see it from like a cutout view The artwork is very nicely done, I like it Reroll combat rewards Oh wow, alright, that sounds nice still include locked abilities. Oh, okay. Basic attack and basic defense sides cost us nothing crazy with bounces. Okay. So at, at the moment none of these will actually help me because I don't have any currency to unlock it. But eventually we can upgrade this. Fight your way through the area to unlock new heroes. Show me the available heroes. Detective. Conquer the trail with a sharp wit and a crossbow. Both are good. Magician. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Tracker, and I need 20 crabs to unlock it. That's good. I, I, I will sell the first one because that's the only one I can do. And let's uh, do a uh, to the trail to see the actual gameplay. Alright, so we are starting here, and it seems we have multiple paths towards, ooh, I guess bosses. Oh no, this is, this is like, very long, this is a very long trail. Oh, come, oh my. Oh, oh, it still goes. Oh, wow. Oof. Alright. <laughs> this is not a game I will play through in 20 minutes, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. Why the geese are flying. I love this. Although I would expect it to fly above the icons. Just a small thing. Alright, let's uh, hmm, em embark, I guess. Your turn. Wolf Red Hybrid. White Heart, okay. And it is just woken up from its morning nap and they are pretty confused, so they are not really know that they are a dumb animal, so they are holding a gun and they are dressed accordingly. And this is our character, the detective. Ah, it doesn't look like Sherlock Holmes, but I take it. And Watch out, creatures on the trail may not be friendly. But, I mean, I was not expected to pet this one. But okay. 
You will need to defeat monsters in your way to contain. Grab a dice. Dice grab. Throw it on the rolling pad. Use your abilities by dragging them from the die to a target and if needed cancel by right clicking. So I do that. Every ability costs resolve. Which is I assume one of these numbers. Um, resolve is a regenerative resource you spend to use abilities, okay. Resolve's regeneration pattern is shown here. Oh yeah, the, the seven I guess. That's the points I can spend to attack. That means the pure creature has only have two. Right. The cost of ability is in the description panel. Uh, okay. What's the cost of the doggo? Hearts are your health. Try not to lose them. Uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> hearts are your health. Try not to. Yeah, okay. Without resolve, enemy attacks will wound your hearts. My heart. Single attack causes one wound, no matter the damage amount. Okay. Watch out for multiple attacks that can cause more wounds. Be warned, enemies also have resolve and hearts. Well, that's zero resolve. And two hearts. Be warned, okay. When enemies resolve, we regenerate, so plan accordingly. To be honest, I would very much like to have this voice acted. Even if it's not just a you know, professional voice actor, but something like an AI generated text to voice. That would work better than, you know, breathing. An enemy's resolve, okay. Uh, each enemy's intent is above their head. He is intended to cause chaos. Intent shows the action the enemy will do during that turn. Now, let's quickly discuss your dice. As mentioned before, each dice ability costs resolve, however not using a dice during your turn will add one additional resolve next turn. Okay. This is your auto roll button. Click to roll the die automatically. This button releases your hero's unique power. Change of plans. Gain 5, uh, I guess that's the resolve. Per bottle. This button releases your hero's unique power, okay? That covers the basics, I'm sure we'll figure out the rest. Mm -hmm. Alright, if not, I will let you guys know. <laughs> That's what I do. Alright, so we roll the dog, which means jacket bolt applies three bleed per uh, starfish. Apply zero bleed. Okay. I think I need to pull it on the red dog thingy. And I did a bite. What did that do? I still have two resolve, two hearts. Oh, okay. Let's end the... Oh, I actually have another dice. Can I roll that too? I rolled the turtle. Defend. I guess that I can pull that on myself. Oh yeah. Some attacks grant you shield which protects your resolve. Okay. Your shield will reset each turn. Enemy attacks decrease your shield before your resolve. Nice. So the turtle roll was actually pretty cool. It was protected us against the attacks. And in next turn the red creature will try to attack us. Yeah. That's a claw, and that will be a basic attack, deal 5. Ah, so it is going down from there first. And after that I assume it will consume the heart. And let's roll this one. Give me a turtle. Oh no, that was another attack. I think basic attack. 
Alright, so now... Oh yeah, that was hitting us a bit. And we also regenerated a portion of it, both of us, after the attack. Basic attack. Oh, they will attack a big one this next time. What's this one will do? Backflip. Gain one dodge flip to the other side and exhaust. I guess I need to do backflipping. Read descriptions carefully. Some abilities exhaust after use. Okay. Exhausted abilities will require you to refresh them at a significant resolve cost. Does it mean I've lost the whole dice? Until I do that exhaust refresh. Alright. Let's do that basic attack. Oh, one heart down of the red creature. Oh, I, I still have two dice, so I, I'm not sure what the exhaust was at this point. Basic attack. Give me another one. Oh, it was not really rolling. It would be nice to just re-roll it. Ah, okay, I can actually. But it gave me the same, so it's not much of a difference. I wonder what some other abilities are. Oh, I got the turtle, that's nice. That will protect us a little bit. Uh, right. I wanted to check one more thing. I know that, that stuff would be nice, but I wanted to check how much I need to, you know, buzz it around. I guess I can only throw it somewhere in the middle. I wanted to make it, like, really roll. Uh, Alright, I got a, a jacket ball this time. That was... Averted by our turtle thingy. Oh, we got another turtle, nice. And the basic attack. Oh, it almost feels like that's not doing too much anything to it. But he has nine, nine um, defense, I guess. Alright, so basic attack. And another one. That should do at least one resolve damage. I don't know, he's regenerating like crazy. Alright. Basic attack. Alright, we are getting there. Give me something nice. Yeah, another. Oh! We defeated the first one! Victory, pick one. Backstab. Deal 7 attack per starfish apply to explosive under stealth. Ah, okay, so I can, you know, do stealth. And this one will do like a big damage if I'm stealthing. Deal 2 attack and apply 4 blind. Okay. Parry, apply to parry. Common. Hmm. Hmm. I like the hedgehog. I take this one. Let's send you the next one. Open the dice force to customize your dice. Oh yeah, because we got the, the thingy thingy. Alright, so ability is let's put this one here. Wait, can I? Grab a dice. Oh, I actually need to put a dice there to unfold it. Hmm, I put the hedgehog here. I only have one of the hedgehog. Is this like... Set your dice size to create powerful dice, okay. Am I doing it? That's the question. Return to the trail when your dice is complete. Oh yeah, this will un we'll pack it back. And let's see this one. I have two turtle, one cat and three clothes. I can't really have anything else to put in there. So I guess we should good. Cores, what these buttons would do? Um, hmm. Okay, I think we did return. 
Oh no, we got ourselves a most. Uh, I, I'm looking around. I, I know the white heart, but I would really like to see like some fun funky names for these creatures, like it was in Slade the Spire. All right, roll. I got him a togo. That was not doing anything. Another basic attack, which will take some of its resolve. Uh, okay, that was not much of a deep impact, but we got a third throw. And the claw, nice. Ooh, okay. I think our reservoir here is pretty nice. I mean, I, I don't really uh, see any damage. It, it regenerates partially. Let me roll this one. I want to get the cat. I think I only seen that one once. Wait, does it allow me to just throw it? Uh, so I guess you might be able to. I want to check this next turn. If you can actually you know, do some stuff by releasing it at, at the time that you actually want. It's never getting to the hedgehog, I think. But I try to get, get the yellow cat if I can. Oh, it does? We want to return a little bit. Uh, what is this? Informant, uncommon. Apply to confusion. Flip the die. To the right. How do you know what's on the right? Apply to confusion. Flip the die. To the right. And gain one dodge. Flip to the other side and exhaust. Uh, I, I get the birdie. Huh. I, I just noticed that the icon for defeated enemies look exactly the same as undefeated pass. So that probably needs to be changed to indicate that we actually defeated them. Or can I go back actually? No, I cannot go back on the trail. So it would make sense to indicate what you already done. Like, you know, like change this brown uh, line here to like red or something that indicate that this is the pass and you cannot go back. And I would definitely change these icons to something that look differently from the ones that you have not defeated yet. Pass one, gain one, gain five cheese for the next combat. Okay. Uh, let's go for the treasure. I normally wouldn't mind going for the fight, but I know what's at the fight. I don't know what's at the treasure, so I go this way. Giant thumb. Hmm. Demon blood. Increase resolve regeneration by one. Adds five defense on flip. And increases damage of attacks by one. Hmm. Hmm. I obviously not take the toe. I mean, oof, that's gross. I take the demon blood. Yeah, this icon also should show an open chest. I some I think that would you know actually tell that I have done that. And when you move, it would be nice to hear the footsteps. All right, Wolverine hybrid with a pistol. Basic attack. And another one. I don't really see what happened here. I assume this one, Swift, 
Double the damage from your next attack, consume one swift attack. I would say it's getting quicker. Alright, one heart down. And I got a turtle. That's good because he will attack faster. Ooh, okay. That was not really effective, I guess. Do a bite. And a backflip. Oh, okay. Flipping. What is this? Oh, that was my old dice. What is this supposed to be? Hmm, okay. Basic attack. Oh, that, that was it. That was not too much. Knockout gas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the sleepy sleepy. Golden school. Removes one random tip of stack of flip. Okay. Suspicious mushroom. All defensive abilities add two more defense. Oh, I like that. That's actually pretty good. Every time I do a turtle, it will add more to the defense. You know it just bothers me a slight bit when you see this loading screen, it is split in the middle and it looks like a kaleidoscopic image, but it's not properly cut in the middle, so you see some parts, parts on it. That would be nice to be like a one image and just cut seamlessly at the middle. A pigeon! I definitely need to do something with this. Ah, wow, look at that. I really like the character and the animation. Absolutely fantastic. Nice. Nicely done. But now let's shoot the pigeon. What did he got? Flocking. Another enemy spawns at three stacks. At three stacks, what that means? Does it mean like in three turns? Oh, okay. Let's not give it a chance. Ooh, we got that right in the gut. Also, one additional thing that I would like to see is like combat music. Great part of my enjoyment of Slay the Spire was the music because it was so well made. Every time there was an attack, I just felt like I, I'm in the middle of action. Here, the music is calm and very sparse, occasionally not even triggering, so it feels like we are fighting in silence. Oh no, another one. Oh no, bro. But this one will die soon, hopefully. I got a turtle. Hey, they're supposed to be bigger now, no? I thought I'd, I got myself something that would increase the effectiveness of defensive abilities. By two, at least. Oh! Hedgehog, hedgehog. Apply two parry, I assume, on myself. Applies to confusion to enemies that attack you. That's what we need, confused pigeons. And the turtle. Ow! Ow! The pigeons are attacking. Alright, basic attack. Let's get rid of that one. Please don't do flocking. Instead, just try this one. Yeah. This actually hurt me. <laughs> Alright, basic attack. And the backflip. 
be funny to see a character going backflip and just into the shadows. One heart down. We still all have our all, all the hearts. This one should take it out. Oh, fancy pigeons. I can get the pigeon slayer perk. <laughs> Apply 10 attack. Apply 2 bleed per starfish. Hide. Gain 4 stars. Oh, if I would have this one too, the back stars, these two would work together well. I could just roll a hide and then roll a backstab and that would take significant damage but I guess in this case the only thing I can choose is this one the pigeon killer and let's look at that boss fight oh no that's a hmm double jointed bear deer creature in a samurai armor at the bottom <laughs> and uh, Constantinopoline golden emperor armor on top and he has a whip that he's not afraid to swish and flick around <laughs> very lovely artwork it's interesting mashup of body parts even though logically it would make no sense that a chicken leg would be able to hold up such a bulky higher body Especially double jointed. Hmm. The music is a bit distorted. I kind of like that one. He's like we are in a strange world. Alright, let's bite the bear. That did nothing. The, bite, the bear will bite us, so let's put up a turtle. Oh! Jeez Louis, it summoned the rat. Oh no, bro. Oh no, bro. Which one should we do? Should we concentrate on the bear? I oh, know, it's a turtle. Which I guess is good, but I wanted to do some actual attack. I think I concentrate on the big guy. I see that strategy will work or not. Bite! Hit! Oh, that goes down very, very slowly. Unlike us, we are going down very, very fast. Alright, let's hit the bear again. I know I can defeat it. More attacks. Oof. Halfway down is resolved. But we are getting damaged like crazy. Turtle, I like it. Give me a damage. Oh, that was very weak. Oof. I'm exposed. Slowly burying the bear down. Oh, one resolve. Oh. If I manage to roll damages the next turn, I'm pretty sure I will be able to hit its heart. Oh okay, yeah, one heart down. Give me, give me an attack. Nice. Oh, that just takes one heart off him. This is... Oh, look at that, I'm almost dead. Oh, one more heart. Please, 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 one more attack, one more attack. Yes! Uh... Ah, yes! Uh, almost done! But also, we are almost done. So, we definitely need some turtle magic if we can. Have a turtle. Give me a turtle. Oh, I have a one reroll. I took that. I, I need some. Ah oh, no. Well, I guess we are die happy. Ah! 
<laughs> oh no, bro. We were defeated. So close. One or two more shots and I would have won this one. Dang it. We need to try again, folks. Initial impressions are great. I absolutely like it, but you know there are some things that, that needs to be a bit more refined. I, I like the battle music now, but that would you know need to be more frequent, especially when we are battling. The artwork is phenomenal. I absolutely love this demonic animal schooly uh, anthropomorphized creature look. The artwork is, is very nice. I absolutely like it and I plan to say you know see more of this. Hopefully I will get better at this with more practice. Let me know your opinions down in the comments and uh, you know, if you want to see more give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already because I will continue to play Tamarak Trail a little bit more and that will encourage me to post more videos of it. All right, folks, uh, see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.